Hello challengers. Welcome to the pilot episode of Bold is Fit and in today's episode we have none other than the indomitable man machine leader of men Virat Kohli injured right now but it's okay. <laughs> yes. The next question in our segment comes from Sadiq Dubai. There used to be a time cricketers were asked to run many miles for endurance. Today people talk about weight training, interval and speed work. Does long distance running still help? At times, um, I would say, I wouldn't say long distance, but I would say more explosive running um, over long distances uh, is something that works more in this day and age. For me, if I have to do endurance, I would rather do that with my skill. Say a fast bowler, I would rather have him bowl more in the nets rather than running laps around the ground and getting tired which the body does not really have any use of because you're not making any of the movements that are required on the field. Uh, explosive training allows you to make certain movements in the field and those small little muscles come into play at the important times. But I feel to build endurance, obviously you've got to do your skill more in the nets is the only way you build endurance. For me as a batsman, I would bat longer in the nets and keep challenging myself with small intervals to have that endurance built, you know, along with running between the wickets and so forth. So it has to be very specific. I'm not a big fan of running 10-15 laps around the ground. As I said, once in a while, I, I would do uh, shuttles, I would do, uh, you know, interval training to improve my endurance and that's about it. But it, it has to be very sports specific. Dinesh from Coimbatore wants to know whether supplements are necessary and he has been consuming whey protein and some other stuff. Your take on this? Depends on, um, I think supplements depend on your workloads. Um, that's something that I've experienced. As a cricketer, I felt like my workload is probably more than normal people. So I had to take, you know, a few more supplements than uh, no a normal person would do who's working in the gym. Because once you have that kind of, uh, you know, exertion in the field, say in a test match over a period of five days, you need something extra to recover from that kind of uh, you know workload. So that's what I felt over the years. That yes, protein shakes uh, and other supplements do help, uh, but depends on the workload. If I'm not doing anything, I won't sit down and have a protein shake. It's literally to give my body uh, you know ample recovery and ample uh, nutrition um, because of the way I train. Um, my my training is you know becomes such that I need to have that extra in my diet uh, for me to be able to recover but the right things um, I wouldn't I wouldn't go reckless with the supplements I only take what is required for my body uh, for a normal person I would not recommend too many supplements um, I think the three things that come to mind straight away for a normal person would be um, in terms of uh, supplements in terms of uh, tablets or capsules would be fish oil multivitamin and uh, a probiotic um, and other than that, I think a, a post-workout protein is, is all a normal person needs if they have that kind of uh, you know exertion in the gym. But also what that does is it increases the protein intake in your diet which in turn helps you maintain that balance and keep your weight in check. Rishabh from Calcutta wants to know what is the best strategy to recover from a game or a session or even a fitness work. And he has been stretching all his life. Is there anything else he can add up? I'm not a big fan of stretching. Um, just by myself. I would rather do a pool session, uh, stretch in the pool where there's some kind of, uh, you know, assistance for the body to make certain movements but at the same time to do some exercises there's resistance as well. So I think it balances the body out pretty well. Ice baths are pretty good as well. Um, obviously for normal people ice baths, they don't necessarily need it because again the workload is not such but I would say rather stretch in the pool than, than by yourself and you know just run around in the pool is, is probably the best recovery and nothing better than sleep. Um, initially when, when I was on my plan I used to sleep 8 to 10 hours and that's the only way my body recovered and I woke up very fresh. Sean from Melbourne wants to know that in a cricket field whether you throw the ball, bowl or hit a ball, all this gets over in a few seconds. So is it important to train for speed and power or endurance? Um, as I mentioned before, important to train for speed and power. Um, endurance can be achieved by doing your skill repeatedly, um, is what I feel. I would not waste my energy doing endurance running. Um, you know, if I have to have a training session, I would rather do shuttles, as I mentioned, um, interval training or 
you know do strength and power uh, and explosive training in the in the gym that is weights uh, but apart from that yes mobility exercises here and there but apart from that i would rather do my skill more to improve my endurance rather than running around the ground without you know achieving anything with it so uh, explosive training power training strength training has totally changed my perspective about uh, you know standing on the field and being able to do certain things and with interval training my recovery is is better as well because as a batsman i have to keep running between the wickets and that is the aim um, of interval training that you you uh, get back onto that you know uh, if, if you're doing it on a treadmill say you get back onto that treadmill uh, sooner and you run for longer so that your recovery is fast so your body understands when it has to run between the wickets your recovery is fast so you can go ball after ball you don't get tired after two three balls you can actually run six balls at the same speed um, and that's where the training uh, comes this is a very nice question from amit mumbai the modern cricketer plays a lot of cricket there are three formats and injuries and fitness have been a major concern across the world you have been very successful in terms of performance and in terms of keeping yourself injury free barring your last freak injury incident other than that you have been pretty successful in taking care of your body is there any secret behind this i would not say the modern cricketer uh, runs a risk of injuries i would say um modern day player runs the risk of burnouts uh, you know that's something that a player needs to keep in mind uh, because you cannot uh, possibly go on for you know season after season with the same kind of intensity in every game with with every ball that you play um you need to understand listen to your body obviously your body will get tired it doesn't mean that you train professionally or you train a certain way that you won't get tired after a certain stage your body does need rest and you need to respect that um so i think it's about managing your time properly um i don't think it's it's uh, that much of a concern where you know where injuries uh, come into the in, into the picture because i don't feel like standing on the field i i would get injured in any way uh, i don't feel stiffness in my legs i don't feel stiffness on the sides i don't feel stiffness in my shoulder so i have literally no thoughts of me pulling or you know tearing any muscle in my body un- unless it's an impact thing which happened uh, recently so if you train smart if you manage your time well uh, your burnout can be handled as well and uh, your diet is the most important thing uh, you know if you if you continue with your food habits and your training 99% of the time you know you will not get injured doing any kind of movement so that's something that i i literally i feel that standing on the field akash from mumbai wants to know this my coach feels weight training will hamper cricket your take on weight training I think that's a very uh, old way of thinking about um, cricket in general. I think the the game has moved on ten folds uh, from that kind of thinking. That's the kind of thinking I I think where you run ten fifteen laps of the ground to do training and you know all those sort of things. As I said, you can keep continuing with your skill, but to sustain levels of uh, you know fitness and stamina and energy. you need to lift weights but lift it smartly as i said you don't want to be standing and doing static exercises too much your body needs to move in an explosive manner for you to develop that explosive strength in your body so and it depends on the diet as well i i am not a fan of you know people eating anything and not training smart and expecting to do explosive movements on the field you can do that for one season but the next season the results will show itself when the body starts breaking down there's no stamina left the muscles get tired there's no recovery uh, because people don't have patterns so i think that's a very uh, old way of thinking and I, i certainly do not connect to that anymore i used to be of that mold but um i think explosive training strength training power training has really changed the whole dimension for me and uh, jasprit from lucknow wants to know how important is flexibility and more importantly he wants to know whether he needs to do static stretches or more dynamic mobility work uh i i would rather do dynamic mobility than stretching um standing in one spot dynamic mobility obviously in the morning i think it's it's a great thing to do when you wake up and you want to just warm up and loosen up um you know run around a little bit um and do dynamic mobility i think it's the best way um using uh, the therabands as well uh, to activate your leg muscles is a great exercise as well but yeah I'm, i'm i would rather prefer dynamic mobility any day uh, over static stretches 
Thanks a ton, Virat. I mean, the answers were so spontaneous and spot on. Thank you so much. And it is actually a blessing for millions across the world. The takeaways are huge. And if somebody uses this judiciously, it's going to be amazing for them. And it's very important uh, they consult a professional. And the way forward is very simple. Follow the advice, consult a professional. Be sustained in your discipline and focus and have a ball. And that's the way to go.